Good morning and welcome to another Fun Friday video from 303 Tech. I'm Clint Larson. Hey, today we're going to be talking about domain names. I know, maybe you know something about them, maybe you don't know anything about them. But what is a domain name? Well, take a look at this, my email address. There's part of it that's my name, and then the rest of it is my domain name. So everything after the at symbol. So what does that mean? What is a domain name and what can it do? Well, let's say you want a website. Well, first thing you need to do is get a domain, domain name. Ours is 303tech.com. So then what does that mean? Well, now I can have a website, so you can go to 303tech.com. Or I can have an email, like support at 303tech.com. Or I can have other services related to my domain. So you might not know how to, to use it or what to do with it, but you have it or you have access to it. Um, a lot of people, they'll get a website person because that's where they think it needs to start. I need a website, need an email. So the website person goes and registers the domain and now the website person set up the, the website and they have access to the domain and the DNS and all this stuff. Those are your digital keys to your digital kingdom. You really need to have access to those. So if somebody has set those up or if somebody's done that on your behalf, that's fine great but you need to have access to those as well you might not do anything with them but you need them um, and you need to check to make sure that you can get access on a regular basis because the last thing you need to do is have somebody set up an email account or a website or whatever and you've got your domain name but now all of a sudden you need to change something and they are unwilling to change it or they you know are unavailable or you can't get a hold of them it creates a real problem can create some business continuity things so your domain name is very important. It's like your alarm code for your building or your key for your office. In order for you to do work, you need to have access to that. So um, when you're getting domains, do it. Have somebody else do it, that's fine. As long as they give you the credentials so that you can get in because ultimately it's yours and you own it. So anyway, that's a little bit about domains. Um, if you need any more information about them, just let us know. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Please follow us and like us and see you next time. Thanks.